this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a free website with Heroku. It's actually technically a Node app. What you're going to need um, is to download Node, have some sort of text editor. I'm using Sublime, download GitHub, and download NPM. I'll leave links below if you're not familiar with how to do that or haven't done that yet. So we're going to start by going to the documentation, and you can find that just by Googling Node Heroku. And here we are. So we're just going to download um, Heroku for command line, which you will need. So you just pick whatever your operating system is um, and download that like you would anything else. I'm just going to fast forward through it here because it's boring, but you don't even need to open it. You just need to download it. This ends up being a really efficient way to work because once you download all the essentials, you don't need to ever again. Uh, you also need a Heroku account. It's free, so you just sign up from their website. I already have signed up, so I'm just going to skip this part. Next, we're going to open up our terminal and we'll mostly be working from there for the rest of the video. Um, shortcut for Mac, you can just do command space and type in terminal. Next, we're going to log into Heroku from the command line. So you're just going to use the command Heroku, Heroku login and it will prompt you to put in your username and password. Um, and then we're going to run through a checklist um, just to make sure that we have everything installed. The dash D V means version, so just to confirm that it's actually installed. So node-v, npm-v, and, and git-version. So it looks like we're all set. So we're going to go ahead and clone the template app. And we are going to do that just by copying and pasting this piece of code. Um, I'm just going to open up my notes and paste it in there because I want to rename it. And you can do that by just doing a space after um, that line of code and um, just naming it whatever you want. And then we're just going to paste this one line into the command line. So we cloned it. So now we're just going to CD into that directory that we created um, and open it up with our text editor. Um, I'm using the command, if I can spell, spell it correctly, sublime this. And that just opens it up. You can open it up um, manually as well. Just however you want to do it, open up that um, your text editor. And now we see we have all the files that um, we need. We didn't have to generate any of that. And uh, in order to set up a local server, we're just going to type in um, node index.js. You can find whatever you need to start up your local server in the proc file. And oops, we're just going to run npm and install and get express installed locally. And then we are all set up for our local development environment. So we're just going to go to localhost 5000. And our website should be there. Yep, so there's the template. And now we can go ahead and do anything we want with it. It's running with a Node Express backend, but we can change any part if we want from the front end. Uh, it also comes with Bootstrap installed as well, which is really helpful in just getting a project up and running quickly. So yeah, I'm just going to change some code just to show you that it works and you can do anything you want with it. So we're just going to save that and go back to the page and refresh. Yep, so hello YouTube. So next we're going to put it online and this is the getting it online for free part. Click Command T to open up a new uh, tab in your terminal because you want to keep the server running in the other tab and we're gonna look down at the documentation we're gonna skip pushing to git for now you don't have to but you can do that later or you should um we can go back to our terminal and uh, write the command heroku create and you can put a name whatever name you want it to be afterwards uh, or it will create one for you uh, so we're just gonna Get at all, get commit with the message. 
And if you're familiar with Git, um, you do this all the time. If not, just follow these commands. Okay, so that worked. Now we're going to type git push Heroku master. And it'll just take a few seconds to launch that. Okay, so that should work. So we can type in the man command Heroku open, or you can just go to whatever you named um, your Heroku app dot Heroku app dot com, and then this is a link that you can share with anyone. And this is a live site now. I'm just going to show you. You can change any of the style sheets or anything that you want. I would normally not change to the live site so often. I'm just doing this as an example. I'm just going to change the background color just to demonstrate how you'd go about updating. Just get rid of this logo because it's ugly <laughs> and doesn't relate to my website. And if I just save this, it's going to go ahead and write the same commands. Then you would push these to get as well as Heroku, but we're just going to skip and push to Heroku. And then it's going to deploy again. And then you can point this site to then you can point this site to any domain that you want to, but you get the free .heroku app website. So but that's for another tutorial. Okay. So I'll just refresh this page and the background should be orange. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks.